Hey everyone, what's up? My name's Dustin, and I'm a developer and technical evangelist here at Treehouse. Take a look at this simple chat app that I built. Want to know how I got all these emojis in here? Well, I'll give you a hint. I didn't code each one in. I used Fetch to connect to the Open Emoji API. These are all coming in dynamically, and it's not hard to do. In this tutorial, I'll show you how I got this done. And also, be sure to stick around to the end, and I'll show you how we can search through all these emojis. It'll be pretty fun. Before we get started, I do want to mention that I won't be coding out the UI for this tutorial. I'll only be going over the JavaScript. But if that is something that you'd like to see, be sure to let me know. Most of the concepts covered in this tutorial can be found in our JavaScript basics course. So if you need a refresher or some of these concepts just don't make sense to you yet, that's totally okay. Be sure to check out the teacher's notes or description to get a link to that course as well as other resources to help get you started with JavaScript. Lastly, make sure to download the GitHub repo associated with this project if you'd like to follow along. So let's get started. As I mentioned, the styles for this are already done and we are only gonna be working on the JavaScript. So the first thing that we'll wanna do is basically toggle our menu when we click on the emoji icon. So if we take a look at this in the browser, we can see that we have an ID of emoji selector icon. And above it, we have an ID of emoji selector, which this is the actual menu that holds all the emojis. And giving it a class of active shows it. So let's go ahead and do that in the JavaScript. We can start by setting up some variables. We can write const emoji selector icon equals document dot get element by ID emoji selector icon. And for the menu, we can write const emoji selector equals document dot get element by ID emoji selector. Now, once we have that, all we need to do is just write an event listener for our emoji selector icon. So we can do emoji selector icon dot at event listener, and we want to listen for clicks. So we'll give it the click event. And inside of this, we will just toggle the active class on our menu, which is the emoji selector. So we can write emoji selector dot class list dot toggle active. And if we hit save and we check out the browser, our menu now pops up and goes away as we click the emoji icon. Perfect. Now that our menu displays when we click on the icon, we need to start adding in our emojis. So head on over to emoji-api.com and your page might not look like this. I've already set this up with my email. So whenever you go to this page, it should look similar to this, where you need to put in your email address and click on the get a key button. Once you've set this up with your email and you have an API key, scroll down to the documentation and you'll see a list of all emojis, searching for emojis, getting a single emoji, categories, and emojis in a category. But the only one that we're going to be working with is just listing out all the emojis. And your API key should be in this link that they provide. So let's copy that and let's head back into our app.js file. So to get started using fetch, just write fetch as a method and inside paste in that link as a string. Now because fetch returns a promise, we can use dot then and we can take the response and convert it to JSON. If the response comes back successful, we'll get some data back from this API. So let's log that in the console. We can do another dot then and console.log data. If we hit save and check out the browser console, we should see a really, really big array full of emojis. And sweet, we do. Awesome. I'll click on one of these and see what type of data we're getting back. So it looks like we get a whole bunch of things. We'll definitely be using the character as well as the slug. So first thing, let's just start adding all these emojis to the page and we'll create a function to do this for us. We can call this function load emoji 
and it'll take the data that we get back from the API as a parameter. So let's change console.log in the dot then to load emoji. And underneath we'll have our function for our load emoji. So what do we want to do? Well, we want to create a new list item that holds the emoji for each emoji that we get back from this API. So let's take our data parameter and run a loop on this. We can write data dot for each and for each emoji, we'll create a brand new list item. So we'll do let li equals document.create element li. I mentioned earlier that we will add a search feature to this. So in order to grab a unique piece of data tied to each emoji, we'll set an attribute on each li that has the emoji name. So for this, we can just write li.set attribute. And the first parameter will be the attribute name which will be emoji-name. And if we go back into the console and take a look at the data we get back, we'll notice that slug has the name of the emoji. So for the second parameter, we'll do emoji.slug. And now we should get a attribute for emoji name on each list item. And then we can just set the list items text content equal to the character. So we'll do emoji.character. That should be everything that we need for our list item. So the only thing left to do is to append this list item. So we need to grab the UL that these list items live in. So if we check out the console, we'll see that emoji selector has a UL inside of it with the ID of emoji list. So let's create a variable for this. We'll write const emoji list equals document dot get element by ID emoji list. And at the bottom of our for each loop that we're running on our data, we can just write emoji list dot append child li. And this should be all that we need inside of our load emoji function to load all of our emojis. So let's check it out in the browser. And it looks like we have all of our emojis now in our emoji selector. Sweet. So the next step would be to be able to add a searching feature to our emoji selector. And this is pretty simple. So let's hop back into our app.js file. And underneath our function for load emoji, we will create a event listener on our input. And we'll notice that this input has an ID of emoji search. So as always, let's set up a variable. All right, const emoji search equals document dot get element by ID emoji search. And we'll come back down to the bottom of the file underneath our load emoji function. And we'll write our event listener. So we'll write emoji search dot add event listener. And we want to listen for key up. And we want to take in the event. So let's first log our value. Let's write let value equal event dot target dot value. And we'll log this to the console just to make sure this is all working. So let's hit save and we will go hop into our browser and jump into the console. We'll click on our menu and start typing and sweet. It looks like everything's getting logged to the console. So let's go ahead and delete our console dot log since we know that this is working. And let's grab every instance of our emojis. So we can write let emojis equal document dot query selector all. And we will target the UL emoji list and all list items inside of it. So now that we have a variable that holds all of our emojis, let's run a for each loop on this. We can write emojis dot for each and we'll set up a variable called emoji. And we're just going to test that what we type in our input field is equal to the emoji name. So we can just write if emoji dot get attribute emoji name and we'll do dot to lowercase just to make sure everything works and we'll write dot includes our value and if this is true we want to make sure that emoji is showing so we'll set that emoji's display property to flex since in the styles we are using flex for the li items so we'll write emoji dot style dot display equals flex 
else we want to hide it. So we can write emoji.style.display equals none. So that should be all we need. Let's hit save and check out the browser. If we click on our menu and start typing, it looks like it's working. If I type in cat, we see all the cat emojis. And if I type in hearts, we start seeing hearts. Perfect. We now have a fully functioning emoji selector for our chat app. And it really did not take a whole lot of JavaScript. Pretty neat. You can surely make some pretty awesome and powerful websites and apps using the browser's built-in fetch API. I hope this guide helps, and I'll see you in the next one. As always, have fun and happy coding.